All right, I'm going to show how to draw the bevels on this knife. This is a 3 16 inch thick. Actually, I thickened it just a hair. It's going to be 0 0.190 just for math purposes to make it easier. All right, first thing that I want to do, I've got the sketch and I've already added a few lines to it. I want to do a half thickness extrusion. So I'm going to go ahead and select these areas. Hold down the control key, select, 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 select. And then I'm going to extrude in a positive direction or in the negative there when I extrude towards this. So it's going to be negative 0 0.089. Now I went to 0 0.089 because the knife blank is going to be 0.19 thick and so 0 0.089 is what you get when you take half the knife thickness which is going to be 0 0.095 and you subtract six thousandths from it and you reach 80, uh, 0 0.089 and that will leave a little bit of meat at the edge and I'll point that out again later. We'll go ahead and turn that off for now and we're going to do another one select our profiles repeat extrusion I'm going to do a negative 0 0.190 I do a negative because I want it to come up towards me just the way I like it to come up that way go ahead and turn that off oops there we go turn that off and then I want to extrude this line here. So I'll select it, go with push pull, give it a little drag up, doesn't take much. This is what we've got there, just that little tiny thin spot. Go ahead and close that. Alright, now we'll start with the half thickness body. I want to draw, select a new sketch, create a sketch on top of that. And what I want to do is take this bottom edge and bring it up to there, make a line up there. So I'm going to project that one up there. And you see that it projects it up to the level. That one that one, that one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make a line across those. It seems to work better this way when I do the sweep. Okay. Now I've got the lines on that drawing that I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that sketch. Turn off that body. We'll turn on that little one, that little plane there. I want to create a sketch on that. I just better stop that sketch. Okay, and then I'm going to turn that one off. What I want to do now is create a sketch on this um, face. What I'm going to do is take this from that corner and go up 0 0.089, straight up. Okay, and that will intersect with this uh, other line that we drew in the earlier sketch. Now I'm just going to take this and run it up to the top of the bevel where that meets there. Select again, run it down there, and we've created a closed profile there. Alright, so now we have our profile. I'm going to turn that little body off. Let's we'll see, we have our profile. And we will stop that sketch. We've got our little bevel. 
and we'll turn this sketch back on. And then we're going to do a sweep. Okay. So under create, pull down sweep. Come in here and we select. Let's see, we'll set this up first. We'll pick path and a guide rail. And the reason I want to do that is because these two lines here don't stay the same distance apart all the way along. Up here they do mostly, but down here they start to get wider. And the re that's the reason I put this line up here was so that I could have a point here along with this point here. If you use this down here as your guide rail, then as the lines get farther apart, your dimension changes of the thickness of your edge because the line will be stretching differently. What happens here is these two points stay together and will scale, get wider or narrower depending on how the lines move, but they won't go up or down, thicker or thinner. I can't quite explain it the way I want to, but anyway, that's you got to do it that way. Because if you do it down here and sweep it along that one and then that one, it doesn't work out nicely. Trial and error, trust me. Lots of error. Alright, so I'm going to select the profile. Got one profile selected. Click on there, select the path. It's going to be this one. And hold down the control. Well, let's see, I'll work on that in a minute. And then, let's see, going to use this as the guide rail. Boom. So it's already pulled it down there. See if I can grab a hold of it right now. Nope, won't let me. We go ahead and say OK to that. Then what I'll do is do a press pull on that face. Gives me a little arrow. Uh, 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 drag that out. I don't want to drag it too far because then I'll start cutting into there. And I'm going to go ahead and do a press pull once more on this other face just because, let's see, we'll turn off that bottom sketch that's in the way. Select that one, press pull, and go ahead and all right, so that's going to be for the long one. We'll go ahead and turn that off. Get our sketches back on. They turn off automatically when you do a function sometimes, most of the time. Do another sweep. And select our profile. We're doing the same path and a guide rail. Select path. It's going to be this upper one here. Select our guide rail. It'll be the lower one there. Okay, so we got our body going off there. Say OK to that. Looks good. Go ahead and turn that body on. We'll turn our full thickness body on. I'm going to do one more press pull. I can see that it's going to have trouble right through here. So I'm going to tug that out just a hair. Okay. And I think I'm going to do the same thing out here on this small end. Just to make sure we get it all in the first deal. It's going to be a press pull. On that surface. Yep, that's good enough. Jumped out an eighth of an inch. Okay. So now what we have, we have the knife body, full thickness, and then we have our bevel cut tools. We're going to go to the modify, combine. That's where you do combining and cutting. So I'm going to select the target body, select the tools that I want to use to cut. Make sure it's got cut function because you can also do join and intersect. So I want to do the cut. I keep the tool just in case. So otherwise it will erase. And I don't want to create a new component. And I say OK. Now it's done. I'll go ahead and turn the tool 
uh, turn the tools off and what we got left here is our bevel cut and turn the sketches off I'm done with those uh, see there that tiny little thinness right there didn't cut off so I needed to stretch that one that's the reason I was doing that push pulling let's go ahead and turn that body back on going to do a press pull on this face that's enough then we will do another combine function select the target body select the cut tool do the cut turn off the body there we go okay so now we got a nice clean cut all the way along there this next part's pretty cool what I'm going to do is create a mid-plane right there and select right there and that creates a mid a plane let me uh, turn that on that creates a plane right down the middle of the knife we'll go over to the create function mirror select the face select the face got two faces selected mirror plane select the mid plane that we just uh, installed there that's where it's going to mirror across say OK go ahead and turn that mirror plane back off or that mid plane back off and there we have it it was that easy Let me get it turned around here there we go and we'll get in here close and you see that there is twelve thousandths I'll actually measure it uh, come on twelve thousandths of an inch remaining along this edge which is a good thickness for you to put a bevel on a cutting bevel and still have some thickness to the blade and if you wanted this uh, you know bevel to go higher you just move your lines to wherever you want them or if you wanted it to be a hollow grind instead of when we did the profile instead of doing the straight line you would do a curved line there and it would put a hollow grind in for you take care and have a great day